Dios. Welcome to the wild and unusual home of the Darling family, where Nana the Nanny, who as you can see is actually a dog, is beginning the usual bedtime routine in the nursery a few nights ago. Her routine had been interrupted when she sensed a strange presence. She had sought out the intruder, but had only managed to capture his shadow. Since then, she's been on high alert. What have you lost now, George? We're going to be late. My cufflings. I don't suppose they have magically turned into dolphins and swum across the sea. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very inventive idea, George. Well, I think, oh, look at my trousers. They're all covered in dog hair. I'm so hairy that people on the street were start calling me rubber and start throwing me bones. Nana, Nana. I'm surprised you're not completely bald, the amount of hair you have transferred to me. Liza, Liza, take this molting menace out of here. Well, now I need to go and shave my trousers. Oh, George, there's really no need. Good night, children. Sleep well. Oh, here are your cufflinks. The little imp has scuttled out of sight. That, hey, Tink, that man seemed really grumpy. He reminds me of Captain Hook. Poor Nana. That was so unfair, Father. She worked so hard. I even heard Mother say that Nana had captured Peter Pan's shadow the other night. So it is here, Tink. I wish Mother could tell us more stories about Peter Pan. Is he real, Mandy? We've never seen him. I know, but sometimes you just know something's real. Now, time to sleep. But we want to play. You can play all you want in your dreams. Ooh, I'm rather tired too. Perhaps I'll have a little nap and then go and check on Nana. Come on, Tink. We need to search quickly. Here it is, Peter. Look, it's been ironed and hung up, although it's a bit hairy. Now let's go. Wait, 
I need to reattach it. But despite his best efforts, the shadow would just not cooperate. Oh! Oh my goodness, what is happening? Peter Pan, is it you? Is it really you? cock -a -doo -doo -doo. It is you! You're really here! Oh Cock my goodness, you're so observant. cock -a -doo -doo -doo. Peter Pan at your service. Without my shadow, though, it won't go back on. I've tried everything! Wendy, Moira, Angela, darling, at your service. So, Nana really did trap your shadow. Wendy, Moira, Angela, darling. Ugh, nobody needs a name that long. I wouldn't like to have to sew the labels onto your clothes. Hey, Peter, that's it. I bet I can, I, I can sew your shadow back on. I bet that'll work. You sit there while I get my box of tricks. And always, as, and Wendy, as always, was as good as her word. There, all done. Thank you, Wendy. Here, let me give you something. An acorn necklace. Thank you, Peter. There, Tink. Good as new. Amazing. Can we go back to Neverland now? How about it, Wendy? You could come too and, and be our mother. What? Whose mother? Mine and also the Lost Boys' mother. The Lost Boys? Who are they? Come with us and you'll find out. I'm not sure I want to be anybody's mother. You would, you would never, you don't, you won't know until you try. Aren't you going for an adventure? Always. Well, come on then. But how will we get there? We'll fly, of course. But I can't fly. I'll teach you. It's easy. Oh, this is too exciting. I must wake Michael and John. Can they come too? Just when I thought it can get any worse. Boys, wake up. Peter Pan's here and he's going to teach us to fly. Are we dreaming, Wendy? Pinch me, Michael, and we'll find out. Ow! You didn't need to be that enthusiastic. All right, everyone. Just think really, really happy thoughts and imagine yourself floating up, up, up. Peter, it's not working. What a shame. We'll just have to go without you. Bye. Wait, I almost forgot. Fairy dust. It's beginning to work. Oh. Keep thinking really happy thoughts. Don't look down. Just close your eyes and focus on one thing. Open your mind to wonderful something. Think of a world that's way beyond your dreams. Picture a happy place and don't lose it. Let your imagination run through it. Lifting you off the ground beneath your feet. Come follow me. We'll fly with the stars. We'll dance with the moon.
things Think of a world that's way beyond your dreams Picture a happy place and don't lose it Let your imagination run through it Lifting you off the ground beneath your feet Neverland, here we come! Neverland, where mind can rope unchecked and mysterious stories roam free. If you look carefully enough, you may be able to spot some wild warriors with Tiger Lily, the chief's daughter, whose cheeks glow with pride of her ancestors, and whose wit is so sharp you can practically see the edge of it glimmer in the moonlight. By the spirit of Clattersnap, the great Thunderbird led us slither through the forest, stealthily taking out the pirates one by one by one by one by one by one. By one, by one. Come, my warriors, let us hunt them down. We'll, we'll follow you to the end of the island of Princess. And off they sliver, like a giant hungry snake, silent and deadly. But in Neverland, where the page is never blank, there are always more intriguing creatures around every corner or crawling out from under every rock. Yo ho ho ho, yo ho ho, it's a pirate life for me! Look at all the limpets, those pesky wild warriors are nearby, I can fit it in my hook. There's definitely something fishy going on here. Oh, I can smell it. That's because you got a sardine in your pocket. Oh yeah, I rang that in case I got a bit peckish. Stick together, boys. Cut us is at the ready. Oi, Smee, Matt, what are you doing with that? I don't think you should talk to a first mate like that. Thanks to you, I've already got a perforated bottom. Oh, Smee, you've just gone and done it again. Lads, lads, save it for those scrubby warriors. We'll need every man jack to see, the, to see them off. Split my infinitives. This is no time to fight amongst ourselves. Now get in line and you'll feel my hook in your gizzards. Yo ho, lads, let's sneak up on him and take him by surprise. Keep your eyes peeled, me hearties, or I'll peel them for you with this nifty peeler attachment I've made for my hook. Captain James Hook, Peter Pan's arch enemy. He has Peter to thank for his hook, as it was Peter who cut off his hand and threw it to a hungry crocodile, who liked it so much, he now stalks Hook in the hope of getting seconds and thirds and fourths. Luckily for Hook, the croc also eats an alarm clock. So whenever Hook hears it, he is warned that the croc is nearby. And that really shivers his timbers. It sounds just like... That.
and the pirates. Woof, woof. I wish Peter was here. I'm scared that he's away. Cowardy, cowardy custard. Cowardy's a cowardy custard. Stop it! You don't even know what custard is. Stop arguing. Let's play Nip Zero. Quick, boys, quick! There's a giant bird chasing Peter, and he wants to to kill it. It's uh, a Wendy bird. Well, oh. Oh, I've heard of Wendy birds. They're fierce. Well, then are the fun. There it is. Let them fly, boys. Got it. Three chairs for two tools. That doesn't look much like a bird. It's got no feathers. It, it looks, looks like, like a lady. And two tool had killed her. I bet Peter brought her here to look after us and now. Hey boys, good news, I've brought a mother for you. Oops. What is it? What's the matter? Wendy! Oh no! It was me, Peter. I killed her. It could have been any one of us. But it was two tools. That's true. But why were you shooting at her? Tinkerbell told us that was a bird and they wanted us to kill it. Tinkerbell! Tinkerbell! What? You're banished forever! Well, for a week then. ever seen with funny little walls and dainty windows and now I have a little house just big enough for me the kind you find in fairy tales and dreams we built you a house that is all you could want we built you a I'm going to call it my Wendy house as I designed it myself. Ah! What's 
that? Oh, it's just some pirates out in the lagoon. Pirates! Yes! Over on the Jolly Roger, James Hook is in a melancholy frame of mind, haunted, as always, by the very existence of Peter Pan. I just popped a bunch of your favourites in the oven, Captain. Crowd is going with a hint of sea salt. Oh, Captain, you don't look very happy. You're not thinking about Peter Pan again, are you? Peter Pan, Peter Pan. That stupid boy with a pesky, pesky, pexy pixie for a friend. I, James Hook, am the Lord of Neverland. Once I get my hands on Peter Pan, I'll let him feel the steel. He'll get a closer shave than he's ever had. Begging your pardon, Captain, but he is just a boy. In fact, I don't think he shaves at all. That's the whole point of him. Mr. Smee, you astound me. Oh, thank you, Captain. I didn't think anything was sillier than a wonky carrot, but you are. I will pay Peter Pan back for what he did to me, cutting off my hand and feeding it to that tick-tock rock. Now that he had a taste of me, he wants the rest of me. You could take that as a kind of a compliment, Captain? Praising barnacles, man. I need a plan to capture Peter Pan and his wimpy lost boys. We're pirates, plundering, powerful. Pongy. Predatory pirates. They should be no match for us, those silly, simpering... Sausages? Simpletons. Who are we? Is it individually, Captain, or as a group? Mr. Smee, I didn't think you could sink any lower in my estimation, but you have. You've done it again, Mr. Smee. I do try my best, Captain. We're better than those pathetic lost boys, aren't we, lads? Aye, aye, Captain! They should be. They're nothing. Nobodies. Non-entities. Ooh. Who are we? The Pirates of the Sea! Who are we? The Pirates of the Sea! The Pirates of the Sea!
fighting down me hatches, you're a crew to be proud of. Captain, Captain, look who we found climbing on our ship. Well, 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 if it isn't our wonderfully wild princess. On a mission to feed you to Mr. Croc, no doubt about it. And, oh dear, I seem to be totally undigested. Mission not accomplished then, but this could be a timely thing to happen. Smee, I think I have it. Well, please don't give it to me, Captain. I do have a rather delicate constitution for a pirate. I mean a plan, Smee. You and Starkey will go take our little princess here to Marooner's Rock and tie her up. If Peter Pan hears about it, he'll try to rescue her, fancying himself as the hero. But we'll be waiting there to catch him by surprise. And if he doesn't come, we can simply watch her slowly sink beneath the water. It's a win-win, really. I will die with honor. Take her away. I'll follow on. Have a splashing time. To the loo. Yup, it's always a good thing to go to the loo before you take a trip, especially on water. Smee, Smee, where are you? Haven't I told you never to leave the oven in a tomb deed, and you've gone and done it again? You and your crabs can't sneak up and down my galley. Smee, Smee! As chance would have it, this happens to be about the same time that Peter decides to take Wendy and the boys to try and catch a mermaid. Oh, I did so want to catch a mermaid. It is really difficult. And you have to be careful they don't try to drown you. Look at those shimmering scales, they're beautiful. I've never noticed. Why has this rock got a post in it? It's Marula's rock. If you tie someone up to that post, really tightly so they can't get away, no matter how hard they try, and the water, and then when the water rises higher and higher and higher, they, they drown. drown. Ooh. Rochelle, have you seen that plain girl Peter's brought to the island? She really lowers the tone, Michelle. No shimmer bombshell, and absolutely no shiny shell, none at all. She needs to look at us and watch and learn. Look at me, look at us, we live a life of glamour. Every one of us, a beauty queen, take a seat, be impressed, we got the handle that We're everything that anybody wants to be. Look at me, look at us.
shiver across the water, which sends the mermaids down to their coral recesses. The sun has gone, but the moon has not come, and there is a sense of evil lurking across the lagoon. Yo, ho, ho. Yo, ho, ho. It's the pirate. Life for me. The life for me. Here at last. Let's get her onto the post, and then we can lie in wait for Peter Pan. Come on, Missy, let's tie your hands to the post so you can't swim away. Don't forget to blow bubbles when the water comes over your head. The mermaids like to chase them, you know. Those scoundrels, they've got tiger lily. Be careful, Peter, they look like dangerous men. Dangerous, eh? Well, I've got an idea. Ahoy there, me hearties. It's the captain. He must be swimming up to us. We've tied up the princess nice and tight. Untie her, you scurvies. Let her go. But, Captain... Blazing barnacles, you dare disobey me. I'll have my hook in you. That's the other face. Ahoy there! Where is she now? Hasn't drowned already. We let Hope her... I haven't missed the fun. We let her go, Captain. Just like you said. Blazing barnacles! I said no such thing! Yes, you did, Captain. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. That's clever, Captain. You said that without moving her lips. That wasn't me, you fool! cock a doo doo, -doo. Pan! You done for this time, Pan. rescue of Tiger Lily from the evil clutches of the pirates on, of the pirates on Mooner's Rock. The wild warriors swore to protect Peter and the lost boys forever from the dastardly crew. As a disgruntled Wendy and Tinkerbell look on jealousy, Tiger Lily and the warriors conduct a special ceremony for Peter and swear loyalty to him. Let the ceremony begin. <laughs> Oh 
led to your great leader headdress worthy of his feet. It's made from the feathers of the salamander bird. The rarest bird on the island. And precious stones, mined from the mountain of great heights. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, magnificent one, your greatest asset will always be your bravery. And your cunning. But here, take these ancient weapons known only to the wild warriors. Use them wisely and well. And now let a great leader be honored throughout the land. Thank you. It was my great honour to rescue Tiger Lily and I will try to be worthy of her respect. I'm sure I don't know what all of fuss is about and what sort of a warrior princess needs rescuing. Anyway, I have books to read. I don't have time for all this silliness. Boys, come on, time for bed. Oh, do we have to? We like it here. Yeah, Wendy, don't spoil all the fun. Boys, home. You'll never grow up to be big and strong if you don't get enough sleep. But then just don't grow up at all. Well, I'm going home, and if you don't come now, there'll be no story. Oh, it better be a good story. A really good story. Cock it doo doo Peter, Peter! Not now, Tink, I'm busy. Besides, you're banished, remember, for what you did to Wendy, nearly getting her killed. Finally, the celebrations draw to an end, and the great leader proudly takes his new possession back to Hangman's tree. But as is the way in Neverland, as one chapter is closing, another will be cl opening close by, until we find some pirates, Cutlass drawn once again, prowling the island looking for Peter's hideout. Yo ho ho! Yo ho ho! It's a pirate life for me! Vanished, ah, uh, vanished, and all because of that prissy little madame. How could Peter take her side? It's just not fair, acting like she's the queen of Hangman's tree, just because she's pretending to be their mother. One of these days, I'll show her. Hangman's tree, is it? So that's where his hidey little hole is. Splice me main brace, this will be great music for the captain's ears. Inside Hangman's tree, the boys are waiting for the great hunter to return. And here he comes, sack in hand. What booty has he by tonight? What's in the bag, Peter? Oh, just a wolf who thought he had my TV. I had other ideas, of course. What a beauty, that must have been quite a battle. Here, take some of my very homemade tonic to renew your strength. Now can we have our story? Make one up for us, Wendy. You mean a mother? Story! 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 There once was a man. I wish it had been a lady. I wish it had been a white rat. Quiet, there was a lady as well. The man's name was Mr. Dye, and the lady's name was Mrs. Dye. I knew them. I think I knew them. And do you know what they have? White rats? No. They had three children, and these children had a faithful nanny called Nana, who was a dog. One night, Mr. Darling put poor, poor Nana out in the yard, so the children flew away to Neverland, where the lost boys are. I thought they did. I don't know how, but I thought they did. Oh, and he was one of the boys called Toodles? Yes, he was. Nibs, am I in the story? I am. I am in the story. When the parents came home from the evening out, all the beds were empty, all the children gone. Imagine those poor parents discovering their children had flown away. Oh, how worried they must have been. I can hardly bear to think about it. Oh
I'm seeing them in my dreams So much I would say to them If only they were here Wish on a star and wherever you are I'll be sat by the window and waiting Long for the day when you're home here to stay And I'll tell you a story to adopt you. Can we go, Peter? If you want. You all need your things. Hurry, Peter. I'm not coming. Not coming? No. Hurry up, Peter. Peter's not coming. Well, why, Peter? I just want to stay young and have fun. Well then, goodbye, Peter. Here's the rest of the tonic. Don't forget to take it. Don't worry, I won't. Lock up. Stop wriggling, you little worm. Come here, Missy. Ow, that's hurt. Fit a nice, a nice little swim with the shocks. At last, split my bananas. I have him at my mercy. So, the boy just wants to have fun, does he? Well, I'm sure that death will be an awfully big adventure for him. Now, James Hook, how will you dispatch him? No fair fight to finish. Too much alliteration. Hmm, let me think. This is a moment to save you. Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell. Check they've got off all right, would you? That would be my pleasure. Mm. Let me just take a little peek. Ah, oh, slice me onions. It's all made for children. I can just reach that little bottle. Aha, James Hook, you're a genius. I know what I'll do. I'll take a little bit of the deadly poison that I always carry with me. Then there will be a moment of Peter panic and he will die a lonely, unheroic death. Perfect. Now, back to my ship to watch those children turn from plank to plankton. What was he doing here? Oh no, maybe that's why I couldn't find them. Peter, Peter! I couldn't find them. But where, so where could they be? I just saw Captain Hook outside here. Maybe he had something to do with it. I bet he's kidnapped Wendy and the boys. I must go and rescue them. I need all the strength I can get. My tonic, where's my tonic? But if you don't drink it, look at it, it's red. Something's wrong. Out of my way, Tink. You're just jealous because Wendy made it for me. No, if you don't drink it. Oh no! It was poisoned. Dear Tink, you drank it to save me. What am I going to do? She said she could get better if everyone believed in fairies. Do you believe? Please say you do. She saved my life, this fairy. 
about again Do you believe? I will believe Do you believe? Tink, let's go to the Jolly Roger. This time it's final. It's hook or me. Over on that ship, who's alone, ne whose name alone strikes fear into the hearts of men, Captain Hook and his gleeful crew are in a celebratory mood. They are anticipating some planky prank and jolly pirate japes. Mr. Smee has even baked some of her irresistible signature macaroons. you to swipe one of Mr. Smee's macaroons without asking. Now you've got some drink to go with it. What's next, Captain? I think it's time for Johnny Plank to join us. Ah, good old Johnny Plank. Go fetch him, Smee. By carbonate of soda, this is a happy night. I will go check on those macaroons. Do you need a hand with Johnny Plank, Mr. Smee? It's the Captain who needs a hand. <laughs> Shh, you better not let him hear you say that. I'm just trying to recall where he is. Oh, I know. He was lying around somewhere. And then I tripped over him, and I thought how he would be so much more useful as a shelf. Uh, what? A shelf. Somewhere to keep my stuff like the Baker of the Week award that the captain gave me for my macaroons. Mm. Mm. Very 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 then you better move your stuff off it pretty quickly. Oh, if I must. Do you think the captain will have noticed that I've painted Johnny Plank pink? Pink? You painted Johnny Plank pink? Oh, you know the captain hates pink. Oh, oh so me. You've, You've just gone, gone and done, done it again. again. Johnny Play. 
going, whoop. My signature dish. Quick, lads, 
plenty of fairy dust, Tink. This is going to be a big ship to fly. Where are we going, Peter? To London, of course. despite still being a hairy thing, has been allowed in back into the nursery by a Mr. Darling who feels very guilty. If only I hadn't thrown you out that night, Nana, it might have stopped Peter from tempting our children away into Netherland. If only I had known about him and his shadow. But for now, it is I who must sleep outside in a sign of my regret. George, there's really no need. I, I can't do things by my house, Mary. You know that. So the kennel it will be until they come back. Let's leave the window open, as always, and try to get some sleep. Look, they're in here, and they look like they've been waiting for us. Oh my goodness, is that barn in the kennel? I think maybe we've come back just in time. It's been fun meeting a real fairy, Tinkerbell. Take care of Peter for me, won't you? I will. Here, have this. Thank you. I thought I heard Wendy's voice. It must have been a dream. Mother, we're home. George, Nana, they're home. They're finally home. At last, our little family is back together. Oh, Wendy, what about the lost boys? Oh my goodness, I'd almost forgotten. Lost boys? What lost boys? Oh, never know, Father. We said that they could come live with us. You don't mind, do you? There's only six of them. What do you think, Nana? Woof, woof. Then let's invite them in. And so, all in a moment, uh, the Darling household practically doubled and the nursery was once again filled with the all the wonderful stuff of imagination. Peter, isn't it? Peter Pan. Are you not staying, Peter? Would you make me go to school and then work in an office? Well, yes, Peter, that's all part of growing up. Then I'll go back to Neverland. Will you ever go back, Wendy? I'm not sure, Mother, but who knows? Now that I've learned to fly, I imagine I'll never forget how. Oops, sorry, Nana. Can I have my kennel back now? Nana! It's a good life, sharing these moments together. It's a great night, having you here by my side. It's a good life, when you're surrounded by family.
Let's go.